Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison video on the Buttons Super Cover and the One Size Cover. As you can see, they're quite a bit different, but they're both amazing covers. So I just wanted to do a video showing you how they're different, how they're similar, and all of that good stuff. I'm not going to do like a voiceover or anything fancy. I'm just filming this video real quick while the kids are in bed. And this one, this kind of style video is a lot easier to edit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So to start off, this is both of them on their smallest setting. So you can see the one size is a lot bigger. So here is the one size on top of the super cover. Here it is beside of the super cover and the front. And they're both stuffed with a large microfiber insert from buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the inserts out and I wanna go over what they have in common first. Okay, so to start out, they're both covers with double PUL. So there's two layers of PUL, so they're gonna be really good for nighttime solutions or long car rides. Anytime you need a little extra protection to not leak. So they both have that, which is my favorite feature about buttons. I love the double PUL. It just feels really good high quality. They both have this elastic in the front that kind of like scoops the front of the diaper down and gives it a bikini fit. So they both have that. They both have double leg gussets, which is great for containing any messes or preventing any leaks. So I love double leg gussets. They both have a snap in here for the inserts to snap in. Buttons inserts work with either of these. So whichever insert size you need to buy, you can just swab them cover to cover. Just depends on what size you need. They both have a really good springy back elastic and they're really stretchy covers. Like these covers just stretch really good. And they both have a three by three rise. Let me zoom you in so you can see that a little bit more. So this one has a three by three rise and this one has a three by three rise. Now we are going to get into the differences because that's about all that they have in common. So to start off, the one size cover is smaller. It is quite a bit smaller. I've already went over that. The one, the super cover is a lot bigger. The one size cover is meant to fit your baby from about nine pounds to 35 pounds. And the super cover is meant to fit 12 pounds to 40 pounds. Another pretty big difference is their snaps. On the super cover, you have just two vertical snaps on each tab. And on this one, you have a waist snap and a hip snap, but no leg snap. And then same on this side and on this side, you have a crossover snap, whereas the super cover, there is no crossover snap. Another um, big difference is the super cover, you have two rows of snaps to adjust the waist and the legs. And on the one size cover, you only have this one row of snaps. So it's a little bit different getting a fit on the legs. It may not be as customizable for the fit as the super cover. So you may have a little easier time getting a fit around the legs with this one. Another difference, this has 11 snaps across. This one only has 10 snaps. Flipping it over and talking about the inside, the super cover has a front flap, which is great for stuffing your inserts under and then they won't poke out the top. It's also really good for keeping any messes coming out the front. It's good for um, babies who sleep on their stomach. It's gonna prevent any wicking from the top out the onto their onesie or sleeper. The one size cover does not have that, which was one of the things that I said in my review. I kind of wished it did. But after trying this, I kind of like the way the one size cover is. After trying the super, I don't notice anything bad about it. I just tend to gravitate more, more towards this one. Another difference, there is a back flap in the one size cover. This is for preventing any explosions out the back. Uh, it's also to hold in the insert as well. The one size cover does not have that. A, another thing I find is the tabs on the tabs on the one size cover. Let me line up the elastics. They seem a little bit longer and skinnier, whereas these are a little bit fatter on the super cover. So they're a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter, but they're still not like the really short kind of like nubby little 
tabs, they're still a good length. These are just really, really long tabs and I love the tabs on this cover. Another key difference, which is gonna be pretty important when deciding which cover to buy, the Super Cover has a very wide crotch and a very roomy bum. I'll show you it's stuffed again here in a minute so you can really see that. And this one has a very narrow crotch and a very small bum. So you're not gonna be able to fit as much absorbency in this one as you would the Super Cover. I'm stuffing both of them with a microfiber insert from Buttons. This is the large one. Overlook the stains. These do get used. Okay, so they're both on the large eye setting now. They're both stuffed with the same insert and you can see there is a pretty big size difference, especially in like the width of it. Let me flip it over. And as you can see, there's just a lot more fabric in the bum of the super cover than there is the one size cover. So now I'll just show you how they look on the different size settings. That way you can kind of get a visual. Okay, here they both are on their medium rise setting. So the middle rise, I don't know why I keep saying medium. They're both on the middle rise and the smallest rise. The insert kind of wants to poke out because when it's on the small setting, it's not really meant for a large insert, but that's all I have for this. Um, for these covers is the large inserts. And I would say the super, the one size cover fully unsnapped is the most comparable to the super cover when it's snapped down to the smallest rise. And I'm going to jump to some clips of me showing you the fit of both of these on Kain. And then I will tell you guys which one I prefer and which one I reach for most. Okay, so here is the fit of the one size. Overlook Kain's leg. That's from a nighttime diaper. Uh, we tried a different one and it did not work out clearly. So here's the fit of it. He's on, yeah. He's on the middle rise setting. There's the legs and mommy see mommy see he only has one two three snaps let um open in the waist here is how the bum looks so there's not a lot of extra fabric left okay and here is the super cover oddly enough he has more snaps open in the middle i think it's because the tabs on this diaper are a lot shorter and he is on the smallest rise. So he's got one, two, three, four snaps open in the middle. Here's how it fits. There's a lot of extra fabric. Yeah, yeah. There's the legs. And I have the um, microfiber inserts in here still. So I'll, I'll roll him over now and show you the bum. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of extra bum fabric on this diaper. So you, it's great for stuffing more absorbency in there. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me over Kyan talking. You're talking over me, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's the fit. Okay, so I definitely prefer the one size cover. I love both. The super cover is a really good cover. If I hadn't tried the one size cover, I'd be completely happy with the super. I thought I would like the super because of the flaps, but I learned that I actually hate back flaps in diapers. It holds on to poopy water whenever I'm spraying it and I just, it grosses me out. So I don't love this one as much as I do this one, but I do love both. Another thing that I love more about the one size is the long tabs. Like these tabs just get me every time. I love the more narrow crotch. It just fits kind. So, so good. He's a really, really tiny baby. He is 21 months, so he's almost two years old. And he is 22 pounds, which sounds average, but he's really skinny because he's really tall. So he's got that these teeny little legs, this tiny little frame. So this diaper just fits him so, so good. This one does fit him. He still fits on the smallest rise setting, so he has plenty of room to grow in this. This probably would have fit him a little, um, he would have been able to wear this a little differently when he was about 12 months and he was a chunkier baby. He was 19 pounds then, but he was short, so he had chunky little legs and stuff on him. So he probably would have wore this probably on the medium rise or something. But now he's wearing it on the smallest because as your baby's body changes, you're going to need to change the rise settings. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.